Hey everyone, Dr. Luke Peterson here, physical therapist with the Knee Replacement Therapist. In this episode of the Knee to Know Show, we're going to go over heel raises, which is seems like a very simple and straightforward exercise, but I'm going to show you how to do it the correct way and a couple different options to progress the difficulty of the heel raise exercise. Before I jump into that, be sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on your notifications so you can catch all of our latest videos, everything related to knee replacement surgery. So, for heel raises, we'll start with just the basic, straightforward heel raise exercise. So, to start, you want to do both feet at the same time, and you want to be on a level, even surface. Now, I have some people, they'll try to just stand in place and try to do the heel raise up and down like this. Now, if you have good balance and good stability, that's perfectly fine. But we don't want to turn this into a balance type exercise. So if you feel more stable holding on to a chair, holding on to the kitchen sink, whatever that may be, then go ahead and do that. We want to focus more on the strengthening and muscle performance of this exercise rather than trying to turn it into a balance exercise. So the straightforward normal heel raise, again, you want your feet about shoulder width apart, equal weight through both feet, holding on to something for support, and you're just going to bring your heels up, raise your heels up all the way, and then come back down all the way, nice and slow. Now a couple of variations just from this position is the speed. So normally for muscle strength, we want to go at a relatively slow and controlled speed. So that means both the upward portion, going slow and controlled, but also nice and slow and controlled on the downward portion too. Sometimes I'll see people go up nice and slow and then they'll just kind of lose control of it and just flop back down. So we want to go nice and slow up, nice and slow down. Now there's different variations from that. So we could focus on the upward portion going super slow speed, one, two, three. We can hold, so we can hold at the top of the movement if we wanted to, make an isometric type of contraction, hold that for maybe 5 seconds, 10 seconds. And then we can also do an exercise focusing on the eccentric or the downward portion, making it nice and slow, 2 or 3 seconds to go all the way down. So you can play around with all those different parts of the movement. You can play around with the upward portion, you can play around with the top of the movement, the isometric portion and the eccentric lowering. Now, something that's often lost in the older population or after surgery is muscle power. And muscle power is able to, being able to do things quickly, being able to do a fast muscle contraction or movement. And this is really important for function, for stairs, getting up from a chair. And we tend to, as we get older, actually lose muscle power more so than we lose actual strength and this can really cause a decline in our function. So one way to do this exercise focusing on power is to go very quickly on the upper portion. So it looks something like this. A very fast kind of a up, very fast up, and then go down slow and controlled. Very fast, kind of an explosion up, and then down slow and controlled. So that's one way that you can focus on muscle power with the heel raise. Now how do we progress this otherwise? Well of course we can go to one leg. So just holding the one foot up in the air, it's going to cause more resistance, more weight that is being lifted up with the heel raise. So go to one leg and then you can do all the same variations that you do with two legs, you can do that on one leg as well. And then the other option is the other option is going to be going off of the step. And basically, what this does is it increases the range of the muscle contraction. So if you're starting from this portion where your, your calves and your heels are stretched out and lowered, you're going to go through that full range of motion of the muscle now as you do the heel raise. Again, I strongly encourage you to hold on to something for support. This isn't meant to be a balance exercise, it's meant to be a strengthening and muscle performance exercise for your calf muscles. So going off of the step, 
And then same exact thing. We can go with one foot in the air and going off the step as well. With calf raises and the heels, with calf raises and the muscles of the calf, they tend to be muscles that have relatively good endurance. So doing a good number of repetitions, 10, 15 repetitions, I find works out perfectly okay. Um, it, they tend not to fatigue as quickly as other major big muscle groups like your quadriceps in my experience. So usually I'll have folks do 15, 20 repetitions of the different exercises and progress from there. I hope you found this insightful and gave you some good ideas to work on your calf muscles and doing heel raises. And please again be sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on the notifications if you're interested in more videos like this. And as always, please be sure to leave your comments and questions below. Thank you for watching.